an easy roasted tomato and garlic and basil soup. Okay, so fairly straightforward. We have eight tomatoes, three carrots, two onions, and of course garlic. So what we're gonna do first is to cut the tomatoes and put them on the roasting tray. So we're just flicking the light on by the way. Looks a bit better. Getting the light over there. Nothing better than the uh, water water soup, right? <laughs> right, so tomatoes are half. Okay, I've got two onions, half already. Carrots, doesn't matter which way you cut them. Let's cut them just in quarters, push them in. You don't even need to peel them. at 220 Fahrenheit, which I believe the gas mark 7, and put them on for about an hour. to do it after you've um, after they've been roasted it comes off well far easier okay. Okay. so tomatoes are all nice and peeled so what we're going to do now I have three cubes of um, chicken stock let's put them in a the bowl fill it up with a pint of hot water and let them dissolve it depending how many people you're making the soup for. I'm making it for two. Right. Okay. Okay. Get some um, tomato puree ready and a little bit of basil as well. You can have it fresh and you can grow your own if you like. I've tried many times, it didn't work. We're just buying the pack nice and done. So I let them cool down and in about five minutes we shall put it all together into the blender and put it on. Okay. So your tomatoes now cool down a little bit. What I have is a tin of uh, plum tomatoes, goes in first. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Scoop all of the uh, roasted veggies in, including those lovely juices as well. Be careful because it will splash everywhere. That smells so good. So, what we're going to do after we put it all in. We're going to add on half the stock at the time. The only reason I'm putting half because everybody's different how they like their soup. I like mine quite thick. Some people prefer it a bit thinner. So what we do? You put half and then taste it. And see what you think. You can always add on more. But you can't take it out. <laughs> all in. So it's all scooped in there. Okay. Wash it in. Put it on top. Lock it in. And blitz it for a couple of seconds. Done a little bit, add on half the stock. That'll help them move them there as well. Just a little bit more. And okay, so we'll be mixing it for a little while. What I have to do now is to add on a quarter of a tube of a tomato puree. There it goes. That gives it a nice rich. 
and half a bunch of basil. Put it in there. Lid it up, give it a final mix, and it should be ready. Again, trying to put the lid the right way around. issue with a bit of brussel or a bit of cheese if you prefer.